Hello, this is all from Open Source Channel. Welcome again to a new episode on how to. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to install a copy of KDEN Live. It's a video editor and I'm going to install a copy on my Ubuntu machine. Don't forget that you can follow me on my website, although it's under construction now. But soon it will be available and live and of course on my YouTube channel where you can actually like dislike all my videos you can subscribe and the more you subscribe the more you watch it you more like it the more video I can do here we go we go to kdnlive.org yeah we're going to show you a little bit of my videos Lately I'm recording my videos first and then I'm going to add the audio. I think it's a little bit easier for me due to the fact that my equipment are not up to, you know, not high quality. So, you know, this is the best way, I think, to do the tutorials. Here we go. This is kdenlive.org where I'm going to click on download. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to install it on my Ubuntu machine. I'm going to click on the Ubuntu machine. There, there we go. You can actually install on many other Linux. There we go. Um, the one I'm going to use is for version 15.10. Although any version from 15 or 4 upwards will work for me make sure that you got the right um, Ubuntu if not make sure you choose the right one now I'm going to write software sources and I'm going to add the sources so I'm going to uh, add the PPA add the software update so go back to add the software I'm going to click add And here I'm going to write, actually I'm going to copy and paste, much easier. Copy there, the APP line, PPA, that's it, add sources. And I'm going to add my password. Soon enough I need to change this microphone and it looks like it's not picking up uh, my voice correctly. I had a couple of people telling me about that my voice is not quite clear. Anyway, I just added, as you can see there. And I'm going to press close and then I'm going to reload. Now the system's updating cache. Here we go, these caches are updating. Some parts of the repository has not been done properly. I do have a couple of PPA that are not working, so uh, this is no one. This is what shouldn't happen to you, as this is for something else I've done, and technically the PPA was not working properly. I'm going to cancel it later on anyway, but it shouldn't be any problem. Now uh, I'm going to. Let's see, let's see KDEN, if I can get any links, there we go, that's the one there, we're going to click, I'm going to click view, although this is not, here we go, I've got a 400 request, 400 request. anyway, let's do it manually, now I'm going to do 
software again. Let's see. Uh, Let, let me try from the software center if I can find a copy of, uh, of the software just in case I can't I'm going to do it manually okay I'm going to click on this one here there we go I'll find, I'll find it this time and I'm going to press install of course you can do it manually here okay Don't forget this is need to be typed in the terminal okay there we go I'm going to click on install now and it's installing I'm going to type the password logically. And I'm going to click authenticate. And as you can see here, the progress bar is started for the actual download and installation. There we go, uh, the installation is nearly finished. There we go, it's done. KDE at Live has been installed. Now we're going to close the software center. I'm going to uh, search for the KDE at Live software. There we go, it's there. And we're going to click it. And wait until it starts. Going to close that. Let me minimize it. And there we go. That's the welcome screen. I'm going to press next. Next again. Here are all the codecs and installed modules. Video codecs, they're all there. Audio codecs also. Or audio codecs. That's the MPEG ones as well, modules as well again. Let me have a look there and on there. It looks so perfectly okay. I'm going to press next now. Here are all the video resolution. At the moment it's show all. Even the 4K, Ultra HD, 2K and HD 1080. Go to HDB and that's what you get there. There we go. 24, 25, 29.97. Anyway, next, that default folder I'm going to leave as default and I'm going to press next. There is no device. Uh, on my laptop so it's nothing to choose from no capture uh, format because there's no black magic or any other card to uh, to capture so I'll go next and I haven't got sign I could install it but uh, anyway that's it I'm going to finish that and let's say we got the uh, version of uh, KDNE live video editor we got some few video and audio tra audio tracks. Go transcode monitoring. It's quite good. I mean, I use it. Um, as I said, I use a lot Camtasia Studio, 
to do all my videos but you know it's quite handy you know I install that just in case I need to do uh, some uh, simple editing for uh, my videos so here you can uh, for the rendering mode you can actually choose your uh, format and peg and peg four across the raw dv and image sequences different profile video quality and you also go audio bitrate i'm going to close that and i'm going to also close that go back to the browser now uh to know more about uh, KDN Live, you can go to XXL Ray. He's a friend of mine who does exactly, well, not exactly what I do, but he, he does how-to videos. And if you go and scroll all these videos, you will find the basics, how to get started with the video editing KDN Live. He shows you how to do some slideshow and so on. He, he got all loads of them. Check him out. It's pretty good. Um, as you can see, I got plenty of uh, tutorials. Uh, now we go to mine. Oops. I think I, yeah, D, missing D there. There we go. I'm going to click on this, it's much easier. <laughs> all right, this is my channel and all my videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. The more you share it, the more you look at it, the more videos I can do. And of course, don't forget you can follow me on uh, website. Although now it's just uh, handy construction, don't forget we got facebook uh, page as well here you find mostly some shared of videos and photographs not much there there we go this is the under construction page as usual hopefully not for long and let me stop this second here you can find a selection of the latest three tutorials that i made you can uh, watch one of them and also don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.